Alright, 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 alright. Hey everybody, this is Joe Palmer. One, two, three. Coming to you with pickups, trade, uh, eBay purchase, um, and a uh, couple things I got from a couple really good friends here. First thing I'm going to get into is I got this from my neighbor. He's moving and he asked if I wanted this. And I told him I'd take it. It is a Married with Children trivia game. And from what I can tell is that it is complete. And the fact that whoever got this won it from a radio station contest. Which is kind of cool. But as you can see it's all there. You got your main cards here. Then a little set of cards there. Then you got... You know, the Bundy cards, or Bundy award cards, and then your spinners, you know, whether that you pick A, B, C, or D for your answer type shit. Um, it appears to be that it's all there, and that, so I mean, I was happy to add this to my little collection. Um, then I got this on a trade for an old radio, a uh, record player radio I had got from a neighbor and stuff my buddy Jeremy wanted it for his vinyls and stuff so he traded me this very nice little uh, Bowie knife that I was really happy to get and then now we're going to move on to my eBay pickups. Um, this is probably the most expensive game I own to date. I' not gonna really say what I spent, but it's less than five hundred and more than a hundred. Um, and it is the Action Max Blue Thunder. There are some scratches here. Because as you can see by the box that I actually had to tape up. Uh, oh, that came out. Basically, somebody took a knife and went from here down to here. Then they went up here, then up here. So these turn into little flaps. And because of that, they scratch the top of the VCR tape. Which I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Yeah, right there, you can kind of see that one right there. But yeah, so you get the point. Like, I was pissed about that, which I knew it before I bought it. And I was still on a bike, because this game is extremely rare. And any of you who own the Action Max system knows that to find this game is like to find a needle in a haystack. And I've missed the last six ones that were up for auction. The one was a French version. I wasn't going to bid on a friggin' French version. It wasn't in a case. Someone printed off, like, scanned this and printed it and put it in a VCR case. And then stuck the game in. So I really wasn't interested in that. Then the other one I missed for 120 at the time. Because it uh, was actually with the system boxed. And it was the only game with the box system. And I actually had the other games loose. And I wish I would have got that one. Because then I could have put it as one complete set and stuff but either way if I get a loose system great that I have all these games loose and I'd like to find a box system with the game in it uh, with uh, uh, the one game that goes with it and everything but yeah I'm having a brain freeze um, so yeah and I did a trade yesterday with an awesome uh, friend Cody Selesky. Um he's actually a really good friend of mine um, and then I did this with him, and then I went uh, to stop at a local game store, and I'll get into that here in a sec. I got the Game Shark 3.3. I don't know what mine is currently, because mine is not working, and I don't know why the hell it ain't working, because it worked the last time I used it, which is a couple of years ago, but it's been in this container since. Um, so I was happy to get this. It's got a little bit better label than mine and stuff, so, 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 so happy. On to get this. Um, I've got disc only for the PlayStation Odd Worlds. I really didn't want the disc only anymore, but with him, I usually take them just because it's, it's whatever. And then I got a manual for Burnout 3, the takedown. 
Then I've got complete. The Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Then I've got that's for the Xbox and for the Xbox again. Need for Speed Carbon. Then Naruto Ultimate Ninja for the PlayStation 2. Which I'll peel these off later. And then I've got uh, X Men, or I should say Marvel's Ultimate Alliance Special Edition. Then uh, Kingdom Hearts Complete. Then I got Final Fantasy X2 Complete, which I already have, I do believe. So this will probably go in like my trade box. And then I've got Grand Theft Auto 3, which I found in a box that I was digging for. It's the Collector's Edition, is it? No, the Trilogy thing. But I didn't realize I had it. I also found a memory card with it, which is kind of cool and stuff. So I was happy to uh, get that. And that. And... Huh. Coming 10-22 to... Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City in the back there, which is kind of ironic. But yeah, so I was happy to find this. The case is in great shape. Um, then at my local game store, I they had a deal going buy four games, get one free, and that. And then I actually had ten dollars on my account there because I had spent like I had fifty four points built up. Therefore, I had earned ten dollars, so I just used it. Um. I bought this uh, Tomb Raider 3 manual for like five bucks. Um, this was like bet on it. They had a fifth element one there I might go back and get. Um, then I picked up three complete inbox uh, Game Boy games. They were not sealed. They resealed them. But I cut the tops off them like this. And then basically I leave all the wrap around them and stuff because I like to keep my stuff pristine if I can you yeah, know to protect them and stuff like uh, yeah granted these are gonna get bad but I picked up Corvette Racing Complete Hot Wheels All Out Complete and Quad Desert Fury Complete and the only box that really has damage was the Hot Wheels one as you can kind of see there but overall, I was not disappointed with any of this at all. So, uh, as you can tell, that's a good deal. And then I got these two games. I was mad after I bought them. They resell these cases and stuff. And I tried to shake it. See if there's a manual in it. You know, but I couldn't tell. But I picked up, they're both missing manuals. I picked up Risk and that and I tried to leave this on it and then I slid it off to peel the labels that they stick on the cardboard and then I picked up Taz uh, and Escape from Mars so I will calculate basically all these into my collection I mean this cart's almost mint I'd say I mean I mean like it's pretty solid label on there I mean granted it's got some surface wear on it but still so, I mean, I was happy to get this stuff. Um, I'm hoping to get some more stuff here soon from a really good friend of mine. Um, working on a few more trades around town here with some people I know and that. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, hopefully you guys will see some more goodies from me. Um, I'm currently in the process of working on a trade with a couple people uh, from the Divers Nation and some of the other gamer pages. Uh, one guy I've been working on a trade with for a month now. Um, he's trying to find everything, you know, to go with it and stuff. But, you know, when you're digging through shit that you got stored at pl uh, one another place, you usually take your time because you got other stuff going. But I ain't in no hurry on that. So, yeah. All right, well, uh, it looks like that's everything for now. Um, so yeah, I will be hopefully posting another video here real soon. And thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, 
and basically leave all the feedback you want. I really brightens my day to see that all.